Pre-K programs are vital to a child's growth and learning. Recent studies show students enrolled in full-day pre-K pro programs do better on math and literacy later in school and have less risk of future crime. But a new ranking by WalletHub shows Indiana as having the worst early childhood education program in the U.S. And that surprised a lot of us. So today we have a local expert, the CEO with 4C of Southern Indiana. That's a nonprofit that focuses on resources and development of quality child care. Alicia Sheridan, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you being here. Were you as shocked as I was about the terrible ranking for Indiana? Uh, initially, I, I took a breath when I saw the report <laughs> come out. Then I dug a little deeper on, on what made up the components for well, the, uh, the ranking. And the three things are access, economic support, and quality. Do all Hoosier children have access to early childhood education? We do. Within the state of Indiana, there are pockets that are considered deserts, that there aren't good access points to uh, that. In the southern region, in this tri-state area, we are not considered a desert. There is access, but ranking us 51st in access was more about the fact that um, they were ranking them on the uh, opportunities for children to have pre-K in a, an actual school. And Indiana's structure is that uh, pre-K services can be provided in a home, in a um, center, in a ministry, in a Head Start, oh, okay. isn't necessarily in a school district. Now, does the quality of that early childhood education suffer if it isn't offered by school systems? No, it does not. We have 163 providers in Vandenberg County alone. 74 of those are considered high quality, which is a ranking given by the state. Uh, that means at a level three that you have a, a, a planned curriculum and at level four, uh, you have a national accreditation. And I know the, uh, the other thing they look for as well, not only access, but also economic support. Um, the last number I could find was 22 million uh, in state funding that was in 2019 for early childhood education. Is that adequate? That, uh, we can always use more. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but in, in this area, fair market value is $7,300 a year uh, to support a three or four year old, uh, wow. which averages yeah. about $140 a week. Um, uh, yes, it is It is underfunded, um, but it, you know, we, we're looking at 90% of our brain growth happens before the age of five. So, so we, we encourage our legislators often uh, and educate them on the importance of investing earlier. So what needs to happen to, to, to change this ranking and, and to develop a stronger early childhood education in Indiana? We have a, a, an incredible business community who is working on that with us um, as far as what does it take systematically to make that change, to increase the quality, to not only get a ranking once a year, but improve the fidelity of the uh, quality that's going in every single day and what parents should expect. Um, it's not just about babysitting. It's not just about keeping your child safe. What is the early learning that's happening? And we need to educate our parents on asking for that um, in the five developmental areas. Absolutely. All right, Alicia Sheridan, thank you so much for shedding some light on this ranking, making me feel a little bit better about everything. But, uh, of course, there's always, uh, we can't do enough for uh, our little ones and teaching them correctly. But thank you so much for sharing some time with us today to shed some light on this. Thank you, Shelley. All right.